Greetings. Welcome to the Kingdom Cultural Center. We're going to talk about the mindset of uh, the end times. Uh, there was a, in one of the individuals that asked me, uh, one of my students of many throughout the, the world, the email, and he asked me a question, what is the kingdom opinion, kingdom stance on the end times? And my reply to him was this, just as Jesus gave it. Now, if you turn to Matthew, the 24th chapter, and don't try, many, many teachers and re religious leaders tried to add to it. Jesus made it plain. Listen. Matthew's uh, 24. And, uh, I think it's 16, 15. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken by the prophet Daniel, the prophet standing in the holy place, whosoever reads, let him understand. You have to go to the book of Daniel, and you'll get more clarity. But, hey, my advice to you at this point in time is don't sweat that. Many of you don't haven't even embraced the kingdom yet, and you're sweating about dying. You should never have to worry about the tribulations. Concern yourself with that. Stay in, stay in, 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 in right standing with God. And how you do that? Obeying His word. It's constant. You're going to hear these words all the time. Obeying His word, applying it to your life. Obeying His word, seeking the kingdom. What is that? Obeying His word. Where do you stand? Where do you stand? We don't sweat that. It's a government. It's a government. And you shouldn't worry about these things. Read it. Warn others about it and through your lifestyle, and they'll see that. See, Jesus never went around, never went to people. They came to him because he had something they needed. Remember that. If you have something, that people need, and you're living what you believe, people will come to you. But if you're professing one thing and your behavior is something else, there's a word they call you. Hypocrite. But you've got to walk upright and apply the word to your life. In these tribulation times, we're living in, we're living in some rough times. Right here, <laughs> I have in, in, in plenty more where you find now the banks, uh, uh, the stock market is constantly going down. They're telling individuals to take your money out, cash in. I saw here, I have here, right in my possession, where... <laughs> A Chinese, one of the wealthiest Chinese individuals uh, in China lost $3 billion. The, hey, uh, this is actually happening. This is actually happening. Uh, I don't sweat it. I'm trusting. If the world was the end today or tomorrow, I'm in the kingdom. I'm in his hand. Well, you say, well, well, what happens if we're going to die? Guess what? If you have afraid of death, then you have the sting of death. Fear is the sting of death. But if you trust in God's word, you don't sweat the small stuff. I stated it before. A kingdom citizen is cool, calm, unnerved. He trusts. Say it again. A citizen of the kingdom in good standing who believes in God's word is cool, calm, unnerved, collected. He believes in what the word says. He doesn't quiver. You know, when Jesus made the statement of in the last days, 
he made the statement. You got to read. The, you have to read the the, the, the whole twenty fourth chapter. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm not going to read it all to you, but follow me as I read, and you can read it after. Then let those in Judea flee to the mountain. Let him who is on the housetop not go down to any to to anything out of the house to get anything out of the house, and let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant and those who are nursing babies day in baby in those days. Pray for the pray for your flight. Not be in winter on this or the Sabbath. Listen, 22nd. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh will be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. In other words, you sweat and see Jesus thinks this is this is this is Jesus speaking. You want to know why I don't sweat the small stuff? If you go, Jesus is saying that unless he's not gonna let a lot of these stuff happen. But if it's coming for our sake, for the elect's sake, for those who stand on his word and believe in him, his word unequivocally, stand on it. You shorten those days. We're not going to suffer through that. I see many foolish men and women uh, getting building uh, uh, bunkers and all this type of nonsense. Let me tell you something. If an atomic bomb come today or tomorrow, you're not going to be able to stand. Forget it. And when you came out of that bunker, you're not going to be in. Hey, it's only but so much food. Don't worry about it. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the King. You shouldn't give anything up to fear. Don't surrender your faith to fear. Don't surrender your faith in God's word to fear. I cannot emphasize that enough. <laughs> Trust me. Don't do it. Fear is a tormentor. It will torment you. It will make you lose sleep. It will make you worry. It will cause you to go bald. Bad heart. Trust in God's word. Let me tell you something. There's another in the uh, uh, David gave that. Uh, 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 where was that? I think it's in Psalms. Now you out there to turn to Psalms 37. Was it Psalm 37. Yeah, I think it was that. Listen to this. And uh, 37 Psalms. And the third verse. Trust in the Lord. And do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. God is faithful. He's faithful. You know, there's things that I, I needed. I, I love writing. And I said this earlier in one of my uh, sessions. That my hand was at to, to the point I couldn't write. I had to went to the doctor, and he told me to go to another doctor, and the doctor would have to cut it open, and then um, in order for it to heal. But I'm gonna tell you something. I'm in the kingdom. I'm in the kingdom. My physician is King Jesus, and my son can witness that along with my wife. At about a week after going to the doctor and come back, and he didn't come. I told the doctor in that office at that particular time. Hey, not happening. You're telling me if you cut my hand open, then it will get better and, and it might. No. So what I did was I was left out of there. I had to pay a doctor for that. Went home. After about a period of a week, I noticed my, not, nothing was wrong with my hand. That's the doctor. Dr. Jesus. When you believe God enough, deliverance will come. 
I've asked God since then for a number of things. But I remember what Paul, God told Paul, the Apostle Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. I embrace him. I love him. He loves him. He's good. It's good all. Until next time, we have a nice day.